I've never done this, but let's talk about what's in my tech bag. So this bag, it packs pretty much whatever I need, whether I'm traveling for leisure or for work. And that's the beauty of this bag. It adapts very well to either situations. So it's, let's talk about the bag first. And it's called the Brevet T or the Brevet A. I'm not sure exactly. Jumper backpack. And it's got a capacity of 22 liters. But the best part about this bag is that it's very compact, but it still packs a lot. I use it as a camera backpack or sometimes as a regular tech backpack or even when I pack for a day trip with essentials. Now the most configurable, flexible part of the bag is its belly. You get these modular velcro patches that you can like disassemble and place them in a way that works best for you. I have these pouches with nets in the front, so I put stuff in here that must stay in place and not move around in the back. There's also this quick access door on the side. I use it to quickly pull out my camera. There's also a mobile pocket in the back side and I use it to put my secondary phone in here. The laptop compartment can fit a 16 inch M1 MacBook Pro. It just fits in, not wasting any space, very snug. There's also a glove box right here to put, you know, like everything else over here. And on the side, I usually put in a bottle of water, but you could also just throw in a tripod over here. I do prefer tying up the tripod to the bottom of the bag and the water bottle on the side. Lastly, and my favorite part of the bag. Okay, so the first thing is the laptop of choice, and that would be the M1 Pro MacBook, right? And what I really like about this laptop is the size and its performance. So it's a 16 inch uh, display, so it's great for me to edit videos on and it's got great performance. Uh, I could not be connected to a power source and it still gives me great power to edit videos unlike Windows computers or laptops. Okay, so the next device that I want to share with you guys in the bag is the camera that I use. So I actually use two cameras, right? Um, one is the FX3, which is what I'm shooting with and the other, which is a more compact and a more travel friendly camera is actually the Sony A7C. So this actually has the uh, ultra wide Sony G Master 20mm. What I'm shooting with right now, which is the FX3, that has the 35mm full frame um, lens on it. But yeah, this just, you know, the body is so light. Uh, it's a much more travel friendly camera. Even the FX3 is really lightweight, but if I have to choose, this goes in the bag just because it's lighter. Okay, now let's talk about the third device that I keep in my bag. And that's actually the iPhone 14 Pro. So I use it as my secondary phone and it remains here in this uh, pocket. Uh, I don't use it as my primary phone. I pretty much use it because it helps me with the content creation process that I have uh, within my team members. It syncs very well with the MacBook and with the iPad. So if I want to move files around, you know, with the AirDrop, it's so simple. Um, so yeah, that's why I use this. And also it, you know, just helps me be more in touch with the iOS side of things. So when you know, something new comes out on iOS or something new comes out in the iPhone 15, I'll be able to talk about it in a video. But my primary device, which I don't keep in the bag, uh, is the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I've been an Android user for like the longest time and I really swear by One UI. I think it's really good, very feature packed, and it's just very productive for me, you know, uh, to work with my editing team or even when I work at office. The other thing that I really like is the S Pen. I've always been an S Pen user. I take notes all the time. I jot down my ideas because they really strike me just any time, right? Okay, now let's talk about the variables, okay? So in my bag, I have the, uh, in this glove box, right? I keep my AirPods Pro, the second gen. I also keep the 1000 XM4 from Sony and I use a Galaxy Watch 5, which obviously I wear in the hand. So these, right? I mean, I know I use the S23 Ultra as my primary, but then they actually connect with all devices. Um, it connects with my iPhone, the MacBook, uh, the iPad really well, you know, that sync is always there and it does connect with my S23 Ultra too. Overall, I prefer these over any other because it's got great sound quality, very good noise cancellation, and it's got superb transparency. The ambient mode on this is just amazing. There are no earphones that even come close to that. But when I really want to get into it, I use the Sony 1000 XM4s. Uh, now, obviously, they're great, right? They sound great. Their noise cancellation is amazing. But what I really use them for is when I'm editing videos especially for sound design. So, you know, it really helps me separate my vocals from the background and I'm able to really mix that very well. And the other thing that I really like about them is the fact that they fold, right? 
and they fold and they come into this really slim pack. And so it's very easy to just slide it into your bag. It doesn't take too much space uh, and it's well protected at the same time. So yeah, that really works out. Now, let's talk about the chargers, the portable power banks and, uh, you know, my charging process as a whole. So, I use this, the Shargeek Storm 2, all right? This is a massive power bank. In fact, it's a powerhouse. So it's got 25,600 mAh capacity, which is simply superb. And it has a peak charging speed of 100 watts. So it can charge all my devices, excluding my MacBook Pro, at their respective peak charging speeds, which is great. But I don't use this to charge smartphones. I actually use it only to charge laptops because you know, it is heavy. So you don't want to carry something as big as your phone to charge your phone. But I really use this to charge laptops because I can just keep it on the table with the laptop while I'm working. And so this way, I don't really have to look for a place in a cafe that's next to a socket or a plug point and then carry a, you know, charging brick and then a wire. This does the trick. But then, you know, for my smartphones, what I use is this. It's Shark Geek again, but this is Starship Sear. So this actually, I mean, it looks great. I love the yellow color on this. And it's so much more portable and lightweight. It's got a capacity of 10,000 mAh. And so if it's fully charged, it can actually charge my iPhone 14 Pro and my S23 Ultra from a zero to 100 in its own single charge. And it tells me the speed at which it's charging the device and how much time is left before my device charges all the way to 100%. And by the way, this comes with uh, this really nice capsule, which is actually, if you think about it, it's a Type-C cable, and it actually connects to this port here, this adapter, to become into a Type-C to Lightning. So I can charge my S23 Ultra or my iPhone uh, 14 Pro, or even my AirPods Pro for that matter. But for, you know, like overnight charging, I use this. This is the SlimQ 100 watt PD charger. It's got two Type-C ports, two USB uh, Type-A ports. And so it sort of charges everything that I have overnight if I don't want to really, um, you know, if I'm in the room and I'm not heading out anywhere. So this is for that. All right, next I have this, uh, the DJI mic. This is a wireless, uh, you know, microphone. It's actually a set of two microphones and that's the receiver. So I can connect this to my iPhone 14 Pro. I can connect this to my S23 Ultra and even to my mirrorless systems using this cable right here. And so that way I can record a video with my audio at the same time. It's really high quality. I've actually done a full video talking about all of its capabilities. I'll leave a link here in the card so you can definitely check it out, but super stuff. Now I do have some more camera accessories to go over. So this is uh, the Aperture MC. This is pretty much just, you know, I use something for accent lighting while I'm shooting stuff. It just gives me some more flexibility in terms of, you know, throwing some light and making things look a bit more cinematic. Um, oh yes, I do have a few things in here. So I carry this ND filter with me if in case it's too bright outside, you know, then I can use that. I do have a polarizer, so that also helps. I do also carry this external drive. It's just about 256 gigs. It's just a backup option. If, if I want to just transfer files, keep a backup, you know, just empty my camera out, I can do that, never lose my files. I do that uh, with this drive. That's the cable for it. And oh yes, I do carry this. This is pretty much a Type-C, like a port uh, extension. So I connect this to my iPad Pro if I do carry that or otherwise my MacBook Pro if I want to add more ports to it. Okay, and then I also carry a mouse with me. I know, so I can use the trackpad on the MacBook to edit, but I'm just so much more efficient and fast with a mouse. Now this is the Logitech MX2S. I do want to get the 3S because it looks a little bit better, but this doesn't give up on me. So until it does, I'm not gonna get the new mouse, okay? It's $100. Oh, and speaking of mouse, I carry a mouse pad with me. And fun fact, this is 13 years old. I got this in 2010. It's from my first Alienware that I bought. They gave it to me for free. I was very kicked. Very good quality, as you can see. Uh, no issues. Yeah, and I think we are left with some cables. So. Uh, but see, I do have more cables, right? I've got this, uh, then I do have this cable, so I do have plenty of more to multiple devices together, so I'm covered that way. And I do, don't think there's, oh yeah, there is. I do have this little camera holder, so you can use this to mount the iPhone 14 Pro on your MacBook and then sort of use iPhone's primary camera uh, 
as your webcam, right? So the continuity camera thing. So if I am in a business meeting and I want to look good. So I use this with my iPhone 14 Pro. All right, so that is pretty much it uh, for my 2023 tech bag. Uh, you'll find links to all of these products in the description, except for the, uh, the mouse pad. And uh, yeah, feel free to check them out. If you guys have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Let me know how you felt about the video because it is the first kind that I've done uh, about my tech bag. And if you want to see more videos, definitely let me know. All right, thanks for watching guys. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. It really helps the channel grow. I'll see you guys in the next one.